First of all, um, <coughs> I've been asked to give you two small but quite important informations. The translation into English is on channel three. Translation into Italian is on channel four. Okay. The restrooms are for the ladies on the right side, for men on the opposite side. I am very happy as the rector of the Gregorian University, a kind of bambino rectore <laughs> since I have begun uh, only six weeks ago, to welcome you all for this conference with such a significant and inspired title, Building Bridges of Hope. I hope that you will feel at home here in our university, which is quite an old Roman lady, since it has been founded as the Collegio Romano in 1551 by Ignatius of Loyola. Its present name, the Gregorian University, dates from 1873. First of all, I would like to thank you very deeply, Your Excellency, Mr. Miguel Diaz, Ambassador of the United States of America to the Holy See and the whole Embassy for having organized such an event here in our university. It is really an event <coughs> and it's an honor and a privilege to welcome you in this Pontifical University where there are six faculties, two institutes and four interdisciplinary centers about 300, 3,000 3, students coming from all over the world, from around 130 countries, and a famous library with some 900,000 books. We know, you know, the program of this one day long conference. And I would like to greet all the people who will share their experience and their vision on the three main concerns you will see during this meeting. A just and ethical development, the caring from the environment, preventing conflicts, and all this within the context of an interface dialogue and action. Such a program fits very well with our mission as a Roman Pontifical University entrusted to the Society of Jesus by the Holy See. And I would like to express this in a personal way briefly now. Yes, indeed, in our broken world, too often torn apart by crises of all kinds, we all know that a world without ethical references and claims will be a world of naked and pitiless violence. A world without ethical developments creates more and more inequalities which are not only unfair but dangerous. Equitable and ethical developments is not a topic for wishful thinking. It's a request of the human conscience today. And who will think about such issues, speak out and act if religious and spiritual people don't do it? Yes, indeed, a world where development implies and finally means spoiling and sacking our common treasure, our small earth, is getting inhuman. There is, especially among the youngest generations, and we see this in your university, a growing consciousness of the frailty of nature, a new sense of our world, as our common home. To protect environment is much more than to preserve something. Intellectually and spiritually speaking, it's a kind of active, active resistance to a subtle and pervasive evil that threats everybody and everything. Yes, indeed, in our globalized world, where closeness 
does not mean more fraternity. Where there are so many reasons to react violently, the commitment of people of goodwill must be to act ex ante, that's to say before, in order to prevent conflicts, wars, and violence. As people who wish to think and are used to pray, we do know that our duty is to look at the very roots of the problems. Blindness of hearts and minds is the best way to forget the historical challenges of today. A university, as you know, is not only a place for sharing and transmitting knowledge. It might be, or more precisely, it has to be, a place where all are sure that thinking, thinking personally and collectively, or as we are used to say, uh, collegially, is a powerful way and maybe a decisive way of arising consciousness and changing what has to be changed. We have to think more and more deeply to act better and in a more responsible way. Our struggle against deafness of hearts and blindness of minds means carrying dialogues and joining our spiritual forces. Thinking means willing to build up new bridges of understanding. It's a long way, and it will be probably for a while an unfinished agenda. So it needs our determination. I am personally sure that the strengths and depths of ideas may change things, and that the Spirit of God blows through all frontiers of whatever kinds they might be to tell us that we have to be builders of bridges of hope. Unfortunately, I cannot stay with you uh, during this day because we are just at the beginning of the academic year and as a new rector, I have to know a lot of things, to meet a lot of people, and so I am quite busy and I have to do some sacrifices, and it is one of the more important ones. But thank you once again for being here this morning as the stone of those bridges and for such a future, a future of hope. Thank you.